three, two, one, let's go. Hello, family. Today is February the 11th, and this is Adam with the Watchman Adam YouTube channel back with a video. Family, I love you, and I want to say thank you for tuning in today. Now, if you're new to our channel, I want you to know that on this channel, we know we're living in the end times, and we're watching for the intimate return of Jesus. Family, that trumpet is about to sound, and we're going to be ready to go on this channel. This is the time of the end. This I know, for my Bible tells me so. That trumpet is about to blow, and when it does, you already know. Let's go. Alrighty, family, I want to thank you for tuning in today. I love you guys, and I pray all is well your way. And today, we're going to be answering the question, did the Bible predict the internet? Now, before we go any further with this video, I want y'all to tell me in the comment section below, do you think the Bible predicted the internet? The internet has forever changed our lives, so we're going to answer the question, did the Bible predict the internet? Well, what we do know is that the prophet Daniel told us this in Daniel 12, 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. So family, what we can see by that scripture is that the prophet Daniel knew in the last days there would be a huge increase in knowledge. And now thanks to the internet and apps like Google, you can ask Google anything you want, and in a matter of seconds, they will have an answer for you. So it's safe to say what the prophet Daniel told us, we're seeing it in our generation. Now, in Revelation 11, we read about the two witnesses. Revelation 11, 7 through 10. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them, and make merry, and shall send gifts to one another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. So you see, family, the two witnesses are going to come, and they're going to wage war on the Antichrist. And eventually, the beast system will take these two witnesses out. And the Bible says the entire world will see this when it happens. Well, with advances in technology and the internet, we are the first generation that has the capability of seeing this happen in real time. A hundred years ago, they couldn't say that because there was no internet and TVs had not boomed like they have today. So I think it's safe to say that we are the first generation that can see this prophecy as it's being fulfilled. And if you jump to Revelation 1-7, the word of God says this, Behold, he cometh with the clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. And once again, the scripture uses see him. So it's saying that people on the earth are going to visibly be able to see the most high when he comes down. And once again, the internet will be involved with this. Thanks to internet and thanks to streaming, this will be able to be seen across the entire world as it goes down. And the last tidbit I want to give you is the Bible tells us before the end comes, the gospel of Jesus will be preached to all nations of the earth. Well, family, thanks to the internet, the Bible is widely available all across the world in many different tongues and languages. Once again, something a hundred years ago wasn't possible. Now, why the Bible does it say, hey, there will be internet one day? The Bible does talk about knowledge increasing. 
And family, think about this, okay? Back when John wrote the book of Revelation, or the prophet Daniel was given the prophecies in the book of Daniel, there was no internet. They had no idea whatsoever that there would be an internet one day. And the fact that they said everybody will see these prophecies as they're going down shows that they knew there would be knowledge increased one day, but they didn't know what it would be. So for them to say, hey, every eye is going to see them, you know, people back in the day when they was reading that was like, hey, that's impossible. But thanks to technology and the Internet, we are the first generation that can see these prophecies go down in real time. So this is all I got on this topic today. In the comment section below, let me know what you guys think about this. Family, just look around this world we live in. It's never been more apparent that we are living in the biblical last days. Everything, and family, I mean everything, that Jesus said would be happening prior to his return. Tell me we're not seeing it all go down in our generation. It's all converging in our generation. The fig tree generation, the generation that shall not pass away. And my beautiful channel family, that's why the message of the gospel is more important than it's ever been. And as always, let's close this video out by me giving you the gospel of our salvation. If you want to pause this video and go get your Bible, we're going to be in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through 4. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. And then, family, in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, the word of God says this, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You see, family, Jesus Messiah paid our sin debt in full on the cross. And if you haven't believed the gospel of Jesus, today could be your day of salvation. You're not promised tomorrow, so place your faith in Jesus today. Well, my beautiful channel family, as always, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to share it. It helps us out so much, and I do appreciate it. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join our channel family. Because on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And I pray for you guys on a daily basis. I really do. And speaking of prayer. If you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. And myself and someone from the prayer team, man, we'd be honored to pray your, your prayer requests. And if you don't have a Bible and you need a free King James Version Bible, email me at emailwatchmanadam at gmail.com. And as soon as we can, we'll get a free Bible out to you. I believe everybody that wants a free copy of God's Word should be able to get a free copy of God's Word. Please include a shipping address and give us some time to get back to you. And if you want to contribute to our Bible ministry or our homeless outreach, check the description box below. There's ways you can do so. All contributions either go to the Bible ministry or to our homeless outreach. Please pray about it first. And we're going to be hitting the streets a little bit tomorrow, so your prayers will be greatly appreciated, family. To next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in three, two, one. Love ya.